<laughs> What's up guys? It's been a while since we've been in Arc Age, but we are going to go and show you some things that we've been selling and getting rid of right now because Trian Waltz has announced that Mysterious Garden Powder is going to come out of Vince. They are going to dramatically increase the influx of Garden Powder in the game. And so it's been currently hovering around this 20 plus gold mark. You'll see the history here getting all the way up to 25 on, uh, on the North American Morpheus server here. It supposedly hit the 40 gold mark on some servers as well craziness right there but now is the absolute last time you can see we're down to 40 mysterious garden powders you want to get rid of that mysterious garden powder before trying world screws up the entire mysterious garden powder economy by introducing it into events so they are going to introduce it in limited time to events and now that it's on their radar they're probably going to throw it in the cash shop they're probably going to throw it in rng boxes etc etc so Get rid of your Mysterious Garden Powder. It's not going to ever hit this 20 gold mark again. So let's go ahead and throw it up right around there. Uh, sell it 5 or 10 stacks. That's what I've been doing. It worked really, really well there. It sells fairly quickly as well. We've sold over 400 uh, Garden Powder this last week. The other thing that's been selling really well and surprisingly is these candies here. So I put them down at the bottom. So we got these franken flavor jawbreaker candy currently around three gold and you can see the price spikes have been way up we sold some uh, around 12 gold sold a couple around five or six gold and it just it's crazy you're not selling a whole ton of them but just the amount of value that you're getting from these guys because these guys were you know only a few silver each way back and when so let's go ahead and throw five up there, five up there. Once again, you want to sell in stacks of five or ten. I like to throw them up there for 48 hours because I'm not going to be online a lot checking it. And generally by that time, someone's going to pick it up. So the other thing is, the other candy, the Marshmallow Sugar Pumpkin, is insane. It's The lowest one out there is 48 gold. And these ones, I mean, were the candy that no one even really wanted. These are the move, move speed plus 3%. And now we're seeing a nice, nice value increase here on these guys. Averaging right around like the 6, 7 gold. So that's crazy. I mean, because these literally were down into the silvers. Like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 silver. Uh, really, really cheap because move speed people didn't want. They wouldn't, you know, weren't happy with it. But now they're kind of flying out of the store here around this six and seven uh, gold mark. That's a huge increase of value. So if you have these candies, now's a great time to throw some up on the auction house. Again, you don't want to sell too many of them. And then the last one is the Greedy Goblin Candy. I'm just finally seeing a nice increase in value. Hovering between the 10 and 20 gold mark slowly going down in value as more people are realizing to sell it sell it sell it and once again this one was a little bit more expensive about a gold or two but now you can see the value is all the way up to like that 15 gold value so these candies they have not been in the RNG boxes for some time one of the reasons why you do want to sell them is Halloween is coming up October is coming up and that's what the first box that had these candies in them then the other reason is that there was also um, a Black Friday sale last year, which they reintroduced all the old RNG boxes, which allowed you to get all these old types of, you know, candies and elixir such items, stab boosting items in those boxes for a short amount of time. And they also lowered the prices of those boxes. So we throw these guys up here and get rid of some. You probably also have a whole bunch of these candies and whatnot. Uh, we're also selling and attempting to see what the value is on these elixirs. So some of the elixirs are also selling pretty decently as well. So a great time to sell those kind of items. I will talk to you guys later. I am looking forward to the 3.0 announcement. Uh, it sounds like they're going to say some things at Gamescon, the European convention, and then also PAX West or PAX Prime for those that used to uh, call it as PAX Prime. So we will be going to PAX Prime, PAX West. I'll be bringing you the information from that event there. Hopefully, they announce the 3.0 launch date and the new servers uh, 
if they potentially are going to do it, which I'm almost guaranteed, like 95% chance that there's going to be new fresh start servers for 3.0, even though the server populations apparently are declining. Um, they're just, they can't pass up the money that they're going to make on the new fresh start servers. Even if they have to merge some of the old servers together, I mean, they're not going to pass up the money that they're going to make on the new fresh start servers. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.